Good morning. Good beautiful Friday morning. I am Prophetess Jacqueline Price and as always you guys you know I'm happy to be with you to share Abba. Amen. This is Friday Prayer and Prophetic so come on in people of God. Come on in and let's enjoy Abba. Come on in and let's just celebrate him this morning. Amen. He is so amazing. Good morning, woman of God. Our Father's just amazing. So I'm so excited. I'm so elated. Good morning, woman of God. All these beautiful ladies of the Most High. Good morning, everybody. So thank God for you this morning. Amen. So you know what you usually do. You let somebody know that the broadcast is on the air. Good morning. Prayer and Prophetic is here. And you know, I'm in love with Jesus this morning, always in love with him, but I want to give uh, this scripture for us today. You know, I like to have a, re a scripture, and it's Psalms 84 and 11, Psalms 84 and 11. It says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them, come on, that walk upright. Look at that. Psalms 84 and 11. If you want to make a note of that this morning. He is a sun and a shield to us this morning. And we can count on the king. Hello. We can count on him for everything. And you guys, we were praying for you this morning. Lifting you up in prayer. Because we want Abba to do his greatest work in your life. Amen. So Father, we thank you. We thank you for being that sun and shield for us. We thank you that you're the one that's making all grace abound. We thank you, Lord, that your glory reigns forever. Your power reigns forever. And we're just happy to be your children. We're happy to know that you are our father. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you how you allowed him and Jesus, you were willing to give yourself on that cross and die for us th that today we can come before you and give you some glory, to give you some thanks, to give you some hugs and love. Hallelujah. To say how much we appreciate you. Oh, he is so awesome. Abba, we are in love with you. We magnify your name because she said, let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. We come to exalt your name. We come to lift you up and we come to say, Father, thy will be done. We're saying your kingdom come. Hallelujah. Your will be done. And we come also saying, forgive us of anything that we said, did. If we went off on somebody, King, just this morning, forgive us. Hallelujah. We thank you because you are always there. You're ever present. You're living. You told me on yesterday, Father, you said my eyes are everywhere. I see everything. You said that to me. You said, daughter, I see everything. So, King, because we know you see everything, we've come to say thank you. Thank you for not giving us what we deserve. Thank you for not allowing us to be consumed by the adversary. Thank you that your mercy is right there working in our lives. Your grace is right there showing us that I am still for you. Thank you, Lord. We're grateful because if it hadn't been for you, where would we be? We're grateful that you stopped that joker in his tracks when he wanted to try to come against your people. You go, God. You stopped him in his tracks. Because you have marked us. You have branded us. You have told us that we belong to you. And so we thank you, King. You are the one that's always fighting for us. You're always fighting for us. When the devil thinks he's got the best over us, he's been, we, we down for the count, so to speak. You said, now you know that's not going to work because I'm for him. Hallelujah. We thank you, Abba. So we thank you for being the sun and shield for us. Hallelujah. 
We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, that your grace is always there. We thank you that your word says you just sit and laugh at the wicked because you know in the end what's going to happen to them. Hallelujah. So we thank you. We thank you because your mercy endures forever. And we have the victory. We have the victory. We don't have to fear what man shall bring. We have the victory. We don't have to get upset over somebody that didn't do us right. No, we have the victory. We don't have to get intimidated by what they are saying or doing. No, we have the victory. Come on, Jesus. We have the victory. Hallelujah. And for that, we are thankful, King. For that we are grateful, Father. For that we love you so much because you're for us. Oh, my Lord. You guys, he reminds you every day that he is for you. It doesn't matter what the devil thought he was going to do. Oh, come on. He thought he was going to make you trip over your own feet. Hallelujah. But the word of the Lord says, uh-uh. He told in, in the book of Psalms when he was talking about Jesus, no, your foot not going to even slip. I take that for me, Father. I take that for me. My foot's not going to slip either. You will not allow me to stumble and fall because you are my keeper. Somebody needs to say that this morning. He's not going to allow me to stumble or fall because he's my keeper. I know that's a lot to say, but hello, you just got to know. He will not allow your foot to slip because he's your keeper. So what the enemy thought he was going to do, oh, Father, we thank you. What he thought was going to work against us, you said, uh-uh, I make all things work together for the good of them that love me and are called according to my purpose. So thank you, Jesus. It's working, it's working, it's working. You better tell that joker, it's working for my good. I don't care what you're talking about, Satan. It's working for my good. Thank you, King. Thank you, King. Thank you, King. It is working for me. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's working for me. It's working for me. It's working for me. Oh, come on now. I feel the Lord talk. Have you ever been when you were younger, you got in a fight, but you were fighting? Look at this. You were fighting. But you were fighting, but you was fighting, you was fighting hard. You might have been crying, but you was fighting. Because why? You knew you was going to win that fight. So you got to tell that joker, I may be shedding some tears, and I might have shed some tears, but check this out. I won. I won. I won. We always win. We always win. Because victory belongs to Jesus. We always win. Because it's him that gives us the victory. Thanks be unto God who always causes me to triumph. I won. Come on up in here. Father, we thank you. We never lose. That's it. We never lose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So somebody, King, may be shedding some tears this morning. But let them know those tears are tears of, I won. I won. Woo. Thank you, Father. Thank you for loving us so much. Oh, my God. We're grateful to you. We're grateful because every day, you give us brand new mercy. Every day you prove yourself time and time and time again. Every day. Hallelujah. So God, we give you glory. God, we give you praise. Father God, we give you honor. Our soul makes a boast in you this morning. Our soul makes a boast in you this morning. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I'm grateful to you. What about you? 
Are you grateful to him this morning? Are you grateful that he is the one? You woke me up. You said, get up. I'm grateful. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, tell King. I'm not going to look at what it looks like. I've got the victory. I'm not going to look at what, the, what my bank account looks like. I got the victory. I never lose. Jesus, come on, King. Now, you know that. Now, you know that. Oh, Father, you know what these people of God need this morning. You know their needs. You know what is financial, spiritual, physical, mental. You know what your people need this morning. And King, hello. You said I'm a supplier. I supply all your needs. Thank you for being their supply. Thank you for being my supply. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you that we rise above it. Whatever that it is. Whatever that it is. I rise above it. I rise above it. Satan, uh-uh. I will not. I will not. I will not wallow in. Uh-uh. No, I just told you. I won. Mm. Now hear me this morning. Hear me this morning. The adversary, you know he don't like you, right? So you got to keep a praise on your lips. Woo! You got to keep a praise on your lips. You got to keep reverence in your heart. Amen? Ah, come on. I got to read it. I got to read it. So many scriptures are flooding in my mind right now, in my spirit right now. But I want to read this to you. It's Psalms 112. Psalms 112 says, first, starting at verse number one. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Hello. Hello. Oh, man, this is all good all day long. Let, I got to keep reading. I'm going to read to the seven first, you guys, because I want you to be encouraged this morning. I want you to be uplifted this morning. Look at this. Unto the upright, going to verse number four, there rises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. And I want to get to verse number seven. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is Fixed, trusting in the Lord. Come on. His heart is fixed. Verse number seven. Meditate on this this morning. Meditate on this all day. All day. My heart is fixed. I trust you, King. My heart is fixed. I rely on you, King. My heart is fixed because I won. Is fixed. Because I know. I'm victorious. Ooh, I feel that for you guys this morning. I feel this for you this morning. I feel you are. You are a overcomer. You've over. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Your heart's fixed. Hallelujah. I am triumphant. I'm victorious. Hallelujah. Wealth and riches are in my house. Come on, my heart's fixed. Ooh, y'all better get this this morning. Come on up in here. Hallelujah. What you've been praying about. 
Mm, my, 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 my. What you been praying about? Come on up in here. My heart is fixed. Hello. Well, go get that promotion, babe. <laughs> Come on. Receive it. My heart is fixed, saints of the Most High God. You got to come up, grab that, take that in this morning. Because I want you to be encouraged. I want you to flow in encouragement. Have y'all, are y'all going through your house telling King, putting his word back in the atmosphere, giving it back to him? Reading that word out loud in your homes? Hello. Hallelujah. I've been, I'm waiting on Abba because I, I, I've been talking to him this morning. And I, I know I, I told you all I was going to share this prophetic word with, with you all uh, that Father God gave me. And, I, and I'm looking right at it on my computer. I'm looking right at it. But Father's shifting me because he wants to encourage you. Encourage you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to encourage you, so he's shifting me. And I'm following the shift this morning, okay? Oh, my, 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 my. Hallelujah. Because, ooh, y'all need to be encouraged this morning. Hallelujah. That devil, ain't he crazy? You call, come on, thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, call it in. You call it in. i calling in. Wealth and riches are in my house. I'm calling it in. My heart is fixed. I trust him. I'm calling it in. I'm call, he is a sun and a shield to me. I'm calling it in. That's from Psalms 84 and 11. He's a sun and a shield to me. I'm calling it in. I will see the goodness of the Lord right now, the land of the living. Come on. Ooh. Peace in my mind. Peace in my soul. Peace in my spirit. Somebody, come on, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You need rejuvenation right now. Mm. Now, to this person, you've been feeling a little drained lately. You've been feeling drained. It's more than one person. Oh, my Lord. Because of the things, the things, the things, the things. Just stuff. Just crazy stuff. Oh, and, and yeah. That person that's been calling on Jesus, you've been called, you called on him this morning. I need your help. You called on Jesus this morning and you told him, I need your help. What well, we just read, he's a help for you. He's a help for you. He's a help for you. Look at this. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. So your help has been answered. He's answered your prayer. You rejoice in that. You rejoice in that. You, Psalms 84 and 11, he just said, no good thing will he withhold from those that walk upright. Hallelujah. So you receive it. You need favor, king. Thank you for favor. Favor. And like I said to this person, you, you drain because of stuff. Be renewed in your spirit, man, this morning. Be renewed in your, oh, well. I hear the Lord say, deep worry, daughter. He says, deep worry. Somebody has some deep worry. Now, Father, you are peace in every storm. You are peace. Jesus, you quieted the storm of the sea. You're the one that quiets the storm. Hallelujah. You're the peace in the midst of the storm. So this person who's having a storm in their mind, give them peace. Hallelujah. Ooh, do you, 
Oh, the devil is a liar. To that person's dealing, it's just all of a sudden the storm just came up in your life. Uh uh, peace, baby. His peace. His peace. Ooh. Speak to me. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Speak to it. Speak to it. I have peace in this. Uh uh, I got peace. You making people do right. Oh, make them do right, Jesus. Make them do right. I just heard that. I'm making people do right for you. Make them do right. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, I hear the Lord say, tell them, daughter. You call it in. You call in what has been delayed. You call in. You call it in. What the enemy said is denied for you. And father said, I'm for that. You call it in. Come on. You begin to bombard heaven. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violent take it back by force. Call it in. You got to get tenacious. Have you known, do you know somebody that's Radical. Do you have that radical friend that's radical? Come on. Now you got to get radical. I hear the Lord talk. See, mm -mm, mm, I got, he taking me back again, y'all. He taking me back. Let, I'm pulling it, getting my phone. Got to go back to it. Got to go. Father is really saying something in, these, in this word that Pastor Price was preaching. He's taking me back to it again. Hope will make you get up. And do something. It will make you make a move. Hope will make you get up and do something. Hope will make you make a move, baby. Whew. Don't allow the enemy to rob you of hope. Hope gonna make you do something. Oh, woo, Jesus, you talking to me this morning. Oh, I love him so. You remember the, the the lepers that was in the Old Testament? These, I think it was 10 lepers. It might have been, no, I think it was two. But anyway, these lepers were sitting there outside of the city. And they said, why should we sit here and die? Let's go in. They were talking about going into the enemy's camp because they needed to get some help. Hope will make you make a move. So I sit here. We can either go in and, and the enemy kill us or we can go and we can get some help. We can get something. Just not, don't just sit here. And the Bible says when they got up, Father God used them to be the noise that the enemy heard. Come on. Ooh, I heard that one, King. I heard that. Oh, Father, use them to be the noise that the enemy heard. What noise? Because the God revealed to a man of God that, hey, the enemy's going to hear a sound, going to hear some noise. Got to go to the book, y'all. Long story short, the enemy heard the noise, and the enemies fled, left all their riches, their gold, and everything. Hallelujah. Why? Because the prophet of the Most High God said. When he was going to bless his people. When the king was crying out. Because he saw a mother trying to eat her child. But God is faithful. You got to read the book. It's in Kings or Chronicles. But anyway, moving on, that happened. The noise of those two men, I think it was two lepers. The people, the men fled because the noise was just that loud. Let me tell you something. When you make your praise loud, and you get louder and louder and louder, that noise is going to make the enemy to move. He's going to run. He's going to flee. Because I already told you, we won. We won. Hope will make you move. 
And when you move, hallelujah, you're not moving by yourself. If I be for you, I'm more than the whole world that will dare come against you. Just make some noise. Just make that praise glorious to the Most High God. Get louder in your praise. Get louder in your stance. Get louder. Come on. Hope will make you make a move. And God's moving right along with you, baby. And that noise is going to be so loud. That the enemy is going to flee. He's going to flee from you. Why? He don't like no praise. He come to a party now. You live, go to that party by yourself. But you get a praise going on. Hello. Jesus said, let's do this. Ooh, you guys, you're victorious. You're victorious. You're victorious. Oh, you are victorious. Mm. Obey the prophet because father's got me flowing right now. I hear the king talking to him. He said, tell him, daughter, to look down at their feet. I'm looking at mine too. He said, tell them to look down at your feet. Hallelujah. And while you're looking down at your feet, I hear the Lord say, I've already given you victory in your feet. Hallelujah. Wherever you, wherever you go, Father said, victory's right there. Victory's right there. I've already given you victory. Victory. Why? Because I'm going to walk it out. I got the victory. Hallelujah. Wherever your feet shall trod. He's giving it to you. Wherever you may go, he's giving it to you. Oh, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. What are you seeing, prophets? I'm seeing when he said that I just saw pathways. I saw when you walk, Father says, I lay it out. I lay that path. I lay that out. I lay that out. I lay that out. You're walking into it. Eat this this morning. Because some of you need to hear this word this morning because the devil was trying to mess with you. He was trying to make you get a little depressed. He was trying to get you down. Come on. But no. You. King said, I'm going to show it to him, daughter. He's not going to show him. He's going to show you that what he just said to you, you will see. You will see. Keep your ears open. Say, Father, I receive the good news. I receive the good news. Hallelujah. Oh, this is, I'm being blessed. I hope you're being blessed. Now, let me say this. Because I'm looking at some people who need to be encouraged this morning. I'm looking at people who need to know. Sister Vicky, Father's got that thing so deep in. Oh, my Lord. And Father said, your, when it comes down to your shoulder and your arm and all of that. He's told you this before, but he has restored you. Yes. He has restored you. And I'm not, and, and, and it's the process. I hear the Lord telling me, he said, tell her it's just the process. And he said, even that numbness that comes on it from time to time, and that, especially when you're going to bed at night, sometimes it's just, look, it's like you're carrying something heavy. That's the way I hear it. But Father has restored you. Amen. Sister Vicki, we that's taking that you know. You know. I have father said, he said, even in your fingers, he said, I'm gonna let her feel it too, daughter. I'm con he said, I'm connecting some things. Because it was so much that they had to do that it started affecting your fingers. But father said, I got you. He's got you. Oh, I heard the Lord. He said, tell her, daughter. He said, tell her, don't get frustrated. He said, don't get frustrated. This is a process. Mm, yeah. I hear you, Sister Vic. I love you, lady. 
God is so good. Amen. He loves you. He loves you so much. Hallelujah. Now, strength to your mind, people of God. No worries. No frustration. Strength to your mind, people of God. Oh, you know what? Shalanda. Shalanda, right. Strength to you. You're a very private young lady. Very private. Very private. Very private. I keep, because I keep hearing Fox say, yeah, she's very private, though. You're very private. But Abba loves you so much that all, you got to let go. Okay, let me just put it straight out. Let go. Let go. Let go. I hear King saying, you, just when you think you're moving forward, babe, just when you think you're moving forward, it seems like you feel like you're being pulled back. Just when you seem like, okay, yeah. And I, I'm really talking about spiritually now. Yeah, some of the stuff that's going on. It, but spiritually now, because all you want to do, my dear, is you just want to grow. You just want to grow. All you want to do is grow in Abba. To the point where when you think, okay, oh yeah. I hear Father say it like this. When you feel like you have a breath in him that I can, oh, I can breathe now, God. I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting where I belong in you. Something comes or a distraction tries to come and pull you. Because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. I feel the pull that's, oh my Lord. That devil crazy. He crazy. You must have been something else back in the day. Hello. Because I'm feeling a pull because you got See, and you question it because God's been dealing with you about, do I have a call on my life? Am I called to do something? Am I called? And, and, and you think about it and then you kind of dismiss, am I called? Yeah. But Father wants you to know, and, and the wrestle is, okay, I, I want to be in my word. I really want to get in my word. And, and there are times when you're in the word, dear, that you read it and you're like, what in the world is this? And, and what does this mean? And, and, and you, I don't know who this lady is that you call. And, and you say, I'm trying to get it. I understand it. Mm. <laughs> you're going to be okay. You're going to grow in Jesus. And woman, you're going to be bad for king. That you are. That you are. You have one. Of, I'm seeing you in one of those. I'm not where everybody else is. You feel like you're in the small beginning type of thing. But don't you despise the day. Don't you despise the day. You grow. And you keep growing. Mm. Now you... King tell me, he said, tell her, I'm grooming you. Oh, come on, Jesus. I just want somebody to groom me. I'm grooming you. Yes, he is. I can attest to that. It's nothing like the Holy Spirit teaching you. Oh, come on, Jesus. It's nothing like the Holy Spirit giving you knowledge and clarity and understanding. Nothing like it. So you be encouraged. There are moments that, girl, you walk like, I got it going on. What? No, I got it going on. And then there are moments that you're like, well, Lord, don't allow different things to pull you back. You walk forward in might and power and great strength. Do you hear me? You walk forward. Everything that's going on, Wow. Do you have children, by the way? Because Father just stopped me from talking to you. Do you have children? Because everything that's going on, it's all going to be okay. 
It's going to be okay. Ooh. Yeah. But do you... It's a young man. It's, are you... You have a nephew or somebody that's kind of close to you. Or some guys to see this little fella. Not little fella. I'm just using the word little fella. But I see this guy close to you. I'm trying to see if it's a family member or whatever. Because... Hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hugs and love. Hugs and love for you. Hugs and love. Give those daughters hugs and love. Yes. Hugs and love. Come on. Woo. But yeah, I see I see that person. Yeah. I see that person. Mm. I like him. He's an encourager. Hello. And you encourage him too. Good job. Good job. Good job. You guys, I love y'all so much. But I want to just let you know. Speak peace. Speak peace. Speak peace. Whatever it is, you speak peace. Whatever it is, you say it. What do you want from Abba? We just get, you got all these scriptures that you got, just got, just got. You eat this word this morning. You digest this word this morning and you walk in victory. Amen. Somebody say another level for me. Say another level for me. I am going to another level. Say it. Be encouraged, Mackenzie. Be encouraged. Aw, you be encouraged. Well, well. Mackenzie, are you married? Excuse me, you guys. Are you married, Mackenzie? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I want to know if Mackenzie's married. You're married, uh huh. Yeah. Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. Love you, love you. Mackenzie, you worry too much, girl. Let go of that worry. Let go of that worry. Oh, hallelujah. Let go of that worry. You're not married. Okay. But I'm, because I'm looking at this guy. That's why I'm asking that question, Mackenzie. Not saying it's a man. I mean, not saying that he has to be. No, I am saying what I'm saying. Ha! Mackenzie, you're going to be okay. All is going to work out for you. Stop getting frustrated with yourself, okay? That's the first and foremost thing I want to let you know. You got to stop getting frustrated with you. Stop getting... Ooh, Mackenzie, girl, I love you. I'm sending you a hug right now. Let me hug on you and love on you right now. Stop trying... Don't measure yourself, Mackenzie, with other people who... who they may pray a certain way. They may do it a certain way. Mackenzie, you love Jesus the way you love Jesus, okay? You love him the way you love him. Amen? You be at peace with your relationship with Abba. I want you to know that. Oh, Mackenzie, I love you. Don't let these people make you be sweating stuff unnecessarily. <laughs> that's right. Do it. You speak. That's right. You speak life and you change. Don't let. Because mm -mm. you. Wow. Another jewel in the kingdom. Another jewel. 
But all you know is God has got you. All you know is God has got you. I see her. That's all that matters. It's God has got you, Mackenzie. And because he's got you, you're walking out that process. He's working it out for you. He's doing everything and everything for you. Amen. So you maintain your peace. All right. <laughs> I'm just telling you what King is saying. Yeah. But you got to maintain your peace. You got to revive your heart to say, you know what? I'm going to be okay. And you are. You're going to see me. So, girl, Mackenzie, will you expect a big hug, baby? Come on. Just let me know. I'm here. I'm going to give you a good hug because you do need a hug. You need to be loved on. You really do. So no fear about anything. Yeah, your dad was your anchor, wasn't he, baby? Oh, yeah. 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 You're going to be okay, though. We know what it's like. I lost my dad. I know what it's like to lose your dad. But you be encouraged because I just felt that in my soul for you. I did. And all is going to be well. Amen. Amen. And I do speak healing to you, my sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do speak healing. As a matter of fact, my, I'm talking to my sister Sheila. I'm going to call you after the broadcast because Father did tell me to call you. And I got to talk to you about something. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So people of God, I'm sending y'all some love and some hugs. Remove the fear. Oh, you're welcome, baby. It's all Jesus because he loves you. And that's what I'm looking at. There are people who get rid of that fear. Oh, fear brings torment. Do not walk in fear. It's designed to torment. What if God don't do it? What, what if God ain't going to work it out for me? I need it right now. And somebody just said, I need it right now. Well, you got it right now. You got it right now. You have it right now. You be tenacious in your faith. Be tenacious in your faith. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for touching your people. My sister Sheila, all of your people of God. Touch them. Renew them. Revive them. This is the day that you have made. And we're making an awesome boast in you, King. We're tenacious about what you're going to do in our lives. Oh, Lord, I know what I'm hearing you say. Make moves this year, people of God. Hallelujah. We got seven more months in the year. You start making moves, people of God. I hear that. Now, let me tell you what I just heard King say. Father says he's shaking some of y'all foundation. Yes, he is. I hear the Lord say, I'm shaking. He's shaking some of y'all foundation. Why? Because he wants you to make some moves. Are you, why are you feeling uncomfortable? Because you know you're supposed to be moving. Why you feel like, well, I mean, restless? Because you know you're supposed to be making some moves. Hello. Thank you. Five months left in the year. You're supposed to be making some moves. That's why you sh the Oh, I... He's telling you to make moves and, you, and you're shaking and you're fearful. God said, I'm shaking you because I want you to make some moves. Amen. You got to do. That's why you use the word tenacious because you have to step out and be bold about it. Be bold about it. I am going to call this person. I am going to. I'm not worried about getting a no. Because I'm making a move. I'm going to let God do it. He's going to do it. I'm going to make this move. And I believe God. So you got to make it. I'm going to make a move on this thing. Oh, I heard that too, King. I'm supposed to be getting off the air. But I hear the Lord telling me, y'all been meditating too long. I'm thinking about it, meditating on it. Well, well. 
If I be for you, I'm more than the whole world that dares come against you. Is it time, God? Is this time for me to do that? It's time, is it time for me to do that? And all your ways, he acknowledge him. He will direct your path. He's directing your path. But you're sitting on the thing that he told you to make a move on, y'all. So he's shaking you. Some of you should have called whomever you should have called a long time ago. Some of you should have been reestablishing your businesses a long time ago. Some of you should have been putting that contract in that person's hand a long time ago. Mm -mm -mm. But you're afraid of no. Mm -mm. Well, I love y'all so much. I love you so much. But all you got to do is you're trusting the king. See, the thing about it is, ooh, okay, I got to go there. I was just going to go. I, let me just jump right here right quick. And then I am going to let you guys go because, but king wants you to know, wants you to know. He wants you to make some, just do it. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Wow. Oh, my God. You got to ask in faith. Nothing wavering. Nothing doubting. Come on. Nothing wavering. Nothing doubting. Come on. Nothing wavering, nothing doubting, you guys, because see, wow, I got to get there. I'm going to get there. Wow. Look at this. But let, I'm in James, the first chapter, verse number one. If you lack wisdom, if you lack anything, all you got to do is go to God. If you lack wisdom, the Bible says in James, the fifth verse, uh, James chapter one, verse number five, ask God, ask God. He's going to give it to you freely. If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. Ask God. Give me wisdom. You tell me, Father, you're shaking me. You're telling me you're sh telling me to make this move. Give me the wisdom how to make the move. Let him act in faith. But don't waver. Because the Bible says right here in James, verse number six, he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the winds and tossed. For let not that man think he shall receive anything from God. Amen. Don't have any fear. Trust him. He's talking to you this morning. Now, phone calls. Begin to say, Father, I received these phone calls. I'm going to get some phone calls. I'm going to get some phone calls. I'm going to get some phone calls. Come on, tell him. King, I'm going to get some phone calls. You call it in. Oh, Lord. I... This is prayer and prophetic. It is. It's prayer and prophetic, you guys. But I feel this teaching spirit on me. When you call it in. You got to call it in. I, Father, I call, they going to call me. I've been calling them and calling them. They going to call me. Thank you for the phone call. I'm going to get some phone calls. Nephew, ask Father to stabilize you. Selling under us or not. Ask the Father, Father God, Father, stabilize my feet. Position me where you want me to be. Ask him, Jarvis, and he will do it. Well, come on. 
There you go. You better say a word. Y'all better come on. I'm going to get the call. Oh, I'm excited. And you, man. Lord, 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 Lord. D, Father's encouraging you. People of God, he's encouraging you. He's encouraging you. He's encouraging you. Disconnect from those that are not feeding you. Hello. Can I get a disconnect? I'm disconnecting. Come on. Say that. Yes, you are. You getting a phone call. And that's what you got to be bold about it. Because let me tell you, I'm serious. I'm sitting here and Father say, tell them they finna get some phone calls. Woo! You go, Jesus. <laughs> phone's ringing. And hallelujah. Uh, come on, phone's ringing. It's not no scam. I'm getting some serious phone calls. They looking for me, Jesus. Somebody about to say, Lord, they looking for me. They searching for me. Woo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They, Lord, these people call it. I'm for real. I'm for real. I saw her. Oh, man. They call it. I'm, people of God, I'm telling you what my father told me. I'm excited for you. Now, oh my Jesus. You know what I heard Father say? He's talking so y'all. He said, tell him, have a number in mind. Well, have a number in mind. <laughs> oh Lord. Say favor. It's just favor. Negotiation. It's just favor. It's all favor. I got it. My king has got me. Hallelujah. Christina, be blessed. Be encouraged, Christina. Hallelujah. You better be praising Jesus, girl. You better be praising him, honey. Hallelujah. Now, I'm listening to King. I'm Ooh, we, I'm looking at this so much, so much, so much blessings on top of blessings. It's your time. He was just waiting on you to make the move. Come on, King was waiting. He shook you. He shake you because I'm ready for you to make the move. Hello. Yes. Yes. Oh, y'all, I'm looking at too many people that's got some money all around them. Hello, hello, hello. Father, thank you for your people. Mm, mm, mm. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. Hallelujah. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. I have wealth and riches in my house. Somebody better say that I got wealth and riches in my house. It's in my house. Come on. It's in my house. Uh-uh. It's in my house. No longer will I just say, I hope so. I, ooh, yeah. Ooh, we. Yeah. It's in my house. It's in my house. That was Psalms 112. I want to read that part again. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endure forever. It's in my house. It's in my house. Hallelujah. We're lifting people of God up because money. The enemy, I see the enemy trying to mess with God's people's money. Hello. No more. No more. No more. You are who King called you to be. You know, he, Father, I'm a multi-millionaire. And see, people be throwing that stuff out just, I'm a multi-millionaire. I'm a, but I'm looking at some people on here that you are. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Fisher. 
You are. Oh, y'all. All Abba wants you to do is activate, activate, activate. Stop looking at what he's given you as, oh, that ain't child, that ain't nothing. I just do a little this and a little of that, a little of that. Oh, Lord, God's talking to me. Oh, my God. What you're sowing seed for if you don't believe that you're going to get what you're believing for? Hello? Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. It's in my house. It's in my house. It's in my house. Amen. It's in my house. And when your money looking funny and change acting strange, you got to say, you wrong. You line up. You balance out. Wealth and riches and it's in my house. Come on. That's what you say. You come in here. Y'all better be tenacious about this thing. Come on, you better be tenacious. Be tenacious about it. He's given us this tongue and this dominion. Jesus, you know who owed me. Make him pay me. Be tenacious about it. Amen. Uh-uh. Be bold about it. I don't have negatives on nothing. You better be bold about that thing. I'm debt free. Be bold about that thing. Paid in full is all I see. Be bold about that. Say it. That's all I see. Paid in full. Paid in full. Thank you for positioning me, Father, that I owe no man nothing but to love them. Speak that. Speak that. Oh, nothing but to love them. Hello. Y'all better come on up in here. We are debt free. I don't know how. All we know is we are. Amen. Paid in full. I owe no man nothing but to love him. <laughs> so I thank you. I'm dead free. Amen. 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 I love you guys so much. Father, thank you. that Let your people of God have a blessed week. The rest of this week, let it be an awesome time. On their, and they say go to service and attend their Sunday services. Lord, let the men and women of God pour into them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, King. Thank you, King. Let them feel your love, feel your joy. Let them have an awesome experience with you. And Father, because they have decreed it, they made the declaration, you are watching over that word according to Isaiah 11. Hallelujah. 54 and 11, you are watching over that. And it is performed in Jesus' name because you always keep your promises. Hallelujah. You always make all grace abound toward your people. And we have no lack. I keep saying it and I'm going to keep saying it. The Bible says in the book of Acts, none suffer lack. So, Father, since none suffer lack, we have no lack. Amen. Hallelujah. Be encouraged, people of God. And I will see you on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I'm going to see you Wednesday. And hey, don't forget, be my guest at a place of worship. Man, we have an awesome time in Jesus. I tell you, he is amazing. He's amazing. And you don't want to miss anything that King has for you. So be our guest at a place of worship, 1704 Northampton Road, Suite 208, hallelujah, in DeSoto, Texas. Tell somebody about the broadcast. 
How can you tell them? Simply have them to subscribe to JLP Ministry TV on YouTube. Help me spread the word about JLP Ministry TV. Amen, you guys. I love y'all so very much. And thank those of you who are partners with this ministry. Man, I love y'all. You're helping me to do the work of the Lord. And I'm looking forward to, I'll be going to India in October. So thank you for supporting JLP Ministries as we I prepare for this trip. I know Father has already supplied the need. That's why I trust him. You go Jesus. Amen. And I want to thank you for partnering. Whether you want to do it through Cash App, whether you want to do it through Zelle, Cash App is dollar sign JLP Ministry. Come on. If you want to do it that way or you want to do Zelle, PayPal, JLP Ministry at att.net. I love you guys. Thank you. Be encouraged. No worries, no frustrations. You're going to keep a praise. And I'm going to see you Wednesday, okay? Love you. Sending you some hugs. Bye-bye.